Welcome to another InfraScale training video. Today we're going to go through a basic how to create customers in the InfraScale system. So we'll go through a basic understanding of the hierarchy of different account types in the InfraScale platform. How do you create a new customer and how do you view and modify an existing customer? Logging into the InfraScale dashboard I see that I have this manage menu item and then I have different role types depending on my role type. I'm currently logged in as a distributor which is at the top of the list which means that I can create partners or I can create direct companies, you know, customers that I'm servicing directly uh, or I can create just backup accounts and then devices. So let's start with creating a new company. So this is a business that you're contracting with directly so you have a single contract with this company. I select add new company. I can give it a company name, new company name, and this is for references and this will be used for reporting and monitoring later on. Then I need to give it some sort of quota in gigabytes, uh, it has to be greater than zero. And then I can choose whether or not this company is also going to be purchasing and using exchange granular recovery licenses, shadow protect licenses. And then there's this option for managed versus unmanaged. A managed company means that you're an IT service provider and this company is paying you for tech technical services and you'll need to be able to monitor and manage the backup activity and accounts for this customer. If you're selling the service to a company that has internal staff, you may check, you may uncheck this, and this will prevent you, f you and your staff from having access to what their internal admin wants to keep for himself or herself. Most of the time, we leave it as managed. So the full name: this is for the main company contact, email address. And this email address will also be used as the login for this company. So if the company is unmanaged and, the, and you wanted to give this, you wanted to have somebody else also have access but just for information about their company, they would use this username and then this password. After you do this, we can set it to something default and then we can send them a password reset link thereafter. Setting the company to be ultra safe is similar to setting the uh, a backup account to being ultra safe as well as being unmanaged. It means that there will be no account password uh, recovery option if the company admin loses it. So we typically recommend that companies are not created as ultra safe and you create backup accounts as ultra safe and we have another video to go through that. So we'll leave this unchecked, hit create. and now I get a confirmation that the account's been created. So I close this out and I now have a new company name that I can search for. So here's new company name right here. The little key indicates that they are managed which means I have access to uh, create accounts, modify accounts. I can log in as the company admin. So if I do this um, then I can set up specific settings for the company. So if I go to monitoring settings, I can modify who receives the report if it's somebody internal into this company. Uh, and I can also uh, create backup accounts underneath this company and do all the management I need, as well as you know, view all the devices and any appliances that may be there. To modify an account is just as simple. We select manage and then you edit company products. And here you can change the quota of both licenses for exchange granular recovery as well as shadow protect as well as our file sharing product and it's that easy to do and that's it for the overview of how to do your basic account management from the InfraScale system for more information please visit our support staff and you can find that information here under the help menu and then go to support thanks and have a good one